THR reports that Sam Raimi is coming on board to helm the mystery thriller centered around the Bermuda Triangle for Skydance Productions. The movie is one of three Bermuda Triangle projects in development, with Universal and Warner Brothers also developing their own tales about the infamous patch of the Caribbean where planes and ships have gone missing. Because of the competing projects, the concept and plot of Raimi's film are being closely guarded. Doug Miro and Carlo Bernard, the co-writers on The Sorcerer's Apprentice and Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, pen the script with a release date yet to be determined. Can buy or sell a, B a Bermuda Triangle movie directed by Sam Raimi? I buy it. As someone who spent his 20s lost in an emotional Bermuda Triangle, this sounds interesting <laughs> to me. Um, I like that. Uh, I love when you get the competing stories. It's you know Tombstone versus Wyatt Earp. Uh, I found my way out, Roka. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, no, you're um, great. it was great. I love you. Uh, but I, if, if, if there's different competing projects, I'll gravitate to Sam Raimi simply because I think he could make it fun, interesting, maybe scary. It could be just a whole bunch of things, and 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 plus, plus Bruce Campbell will be in there. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. Oh my God! Very. I love how you just made that up, but the thought of that—what? I mean, wow! Actually, a Bermuda Triangle movie directed by Sam Raimi, starring Bruce Campbell. Oh, As I wish like the pilot I, or something. I wish I had the ability to make something like that happen because mm -hmm. I would want that so so badly. <laughs> now I, I buy it. I'll see anything Sam Raimi is working on. That is a talented dude across the board. He can make any kind of movie. So, and the fact that he has mastered so many different scale projects, just in terms of budget and size and, and types of stories, action, horror, comedy, everything, he really could bring something special to this that no other director could. And when you're competing against two other Bermuda Triangle projects, that's what you need. Then again, I wouldn't be opposed, this is never going to happen, but I wouldn't be opposed to each Bermuda Triangle movie focusing on a different reason why wacky shit goes on in there. And then it's some sort of cinematic universe where someone fo focuses on like natural, you know, reasons and then someone is aliens and then someone is like monsters. Or I don't know. That's all, my crazy mind. The answer is always going to be aliens, I, I feel like. <laughs> um, I... I, I like Sam Raimi. I, I I like his work. His last movie he did was Oz the Great yeah. and Powerful, which is quite a, mm -hmm. like five six years ago. Yeah. It actually did pretty it well at the box office. But I think he's been working on on uh, Ash versus Evil Dead for yeah. Stars. He directed that episode. He's, I think he's producing and, and this is it. us. He's a producer yeah. on This Is mm -hmm. Us. Too. Um, but I'm gonna sell this just because I heard that I heard I heard. Prince of Persia, as it was one, <laughs> of the, one of the writers wrote Prince of I, I, that Immediately, I, I got to sell it. They're also making three of these movies. Yeah. I, like, when they do the two, like, Deep Impact, Armageddon, okay. I get when there's three of these things, that that's just way way too much. Yeah, Roger. I know. I'm I'm a massive fan of the Bermuda Triangle. This is a big part of my. <laughs> you go, yeah. Is it there? This, you, this, like, it's like, this yeah. is a big big part of Were my. You there with me. No. <laughs> <laughs> God. Was it part of your twenties? This no. The, in, growing up in the seventies, <laughs> they had this uh, TV series called In Search of. The Leonard yeah, Nimoy did yeah. the voiceover yeah. for, it. and they used to go back and do stuff on Bermuda Triangle all the time. And as a as a kid growing up, that stuff fascinates you. Like things disappear. What's right. the Right. Supernatural <laughs> right. phenomena, and then they did a documentary in 1979 that I made my dad take me at nine years old to go see, which is called the Bermuda Triangle, and I was transfixed. Yeah. So ever since, I've always read up on this stuff, done deep dives on the internet and this Bermuda Triangle stuff. So for me, I think it's, I buy this because I like Sam Raimi as a director with this kind of material, this kind of source material. He can play with, he can have fun with, he can do mm -hmm. hardcore horror. You can have Bruce Campbell's a pilot, some ship that disappears. Like it'll just be brilliant in that way. And I think if you're going to have anyone competing against two other directors. What you Perry, what you said, to Perry is correct. Sam's going to be the one that kind of comes out of this thing, I think, big time. And yeah, I, I don't have enough confidence in those writers. I absolutely agree with you, but I, I think Sam could whip him into shape and get something good out of him, and because he just produced Don't Breathe as well. So I mean, he's got his finger on the pulse directing wise it's going to be interesting because Oz the Great Powerful did money but it was unevenly received by the critics mm -hmm. so it would be nice to see him come back and do a, a good fun film that, that kind of evokes that, that Evil Dead vibe and the first two Spider-Man vibes it'd be nice to see him come back and I think he could